Hey guys, RC here, and uh, like before where I showed off my Mario collection, I'm going to be showing off my Sonic the Hedgehog collection as well, so let's get started. First up is the Sonic we use in every video, a bootleg Sonic Adventure plush, or Sonic X plush. Um, people have been asking me for a while to replace this guy because he's a bootleg, and I want to. The only problem is I don't have the money or really the... Um, that really know what the right plush to use. But the plush I'm aiming for right now is the newer GE Sonic, the one that looks like the Sonic X Sonic, mainly because it's a it's a good size and it looks good. Um, so yeah, I, I plan on using that plush eventually to replace this guy, so expect that in like, I don't know, somewhere in the future? I'm not sure. Next plush is a Gosh International's Sonic X plush based off the um, the Sega Prize one from Japan. Not much to say about him, it's just a copy. Next Sonic plush is a Jack's Baby Sonic, clearly based off the old movie design. There's a big head Sonic Boom Sonic. Unlike the normal plushies, this guy is, well, common in like shops in the UK, like um, um, stuff like Worlds Apart and all that stuff. Next up is a Sonic the Werehog, a bootleg of the GE one. Yeah, just, just a bit like. The last plush here isn't Sonic, but he's close to being Sonic. Here is uh, Swift from the series Sonic Swift. It takes place like years into the future from the normal series. And that's all the Sonics. Yeah, it's a small collection. Let's move on to Tails. Here is a bootleg of the Sonic Adventure Tails, which we used at the start of the channel. Fans will remember this uh, ripped leg. Here's another bootleg Tails, which we, um, which I customized into Robo Tails for the um, uh, Tails roboticized video, I think. And here is the Jazzwares Tails, the modern Tails. Uh, this guy had a tag, but it kind of uh, fell off. I didn't take it off, guys. I was just using this guy, and the tag just ripped off. So it just it hints why the hang strings are still there. But don't worry, I, I don't plan on. Uh, using this guy um, for too long, you know. Like Sonic, I plan to replace him with the newer GE Tails. I know a lot of people don't like that plush, but um, I think I think it's uh, decent. And um, oh, and also, if I were to get it, then this Tails would have been too small, too like taller than Sonic, and that's a problem I have with my modern Sonic and Tails is not meant to be taller. It just doesn't look right. So I plan on replacing Tails as well. That's it for the, uh, the Tails section. And there's, um, there's a bootleg Knuckles. He died. He's dead! Next in the collection is this Gosh Sonic X uh, Shadow Plush, which I've only really used once, because uh, Hyper Sonic Mania has the, uh, the GE Shadow, which we use in videos, and a lot of other plushies. So that's why some of those characters that you guys love don't, well, appear in videos. Next up is a Tomi Chow Plush. Very cute guy. Along with him is the Jack's Cheese plush, still has his tag on. The next plush is a custom E123 Omega plush, which again I've used like maybe once or twice, but um, I plan to bring him back, like if I can repair him a bit or rebuild him or find out where his second like shoulder pad is, I don't know where that went, it just fell off somewhere. And here's Sally, without her ears, I'm gonna give her ears at one point. Moving on to the bad guys now, here's Dr. Robotnik by uh, Jax, uh, the one we used to use in um, older videos if you were around back then. Next is a custom uh, Dr. Eggman plush, or Robotnik as I like to call him. Robotnik is his real name, and this is an, um, yeah, the newer fans would recognize this guy, is the because um, he's the uh, Robotnik that we use in every video. And um, here's a newer version of a uh, modern Robotnik. I made him because, well, you know, just for the sake of making them. I might do something with him in the future. Wink, wink. Next up is uh, Orbot by Tomy, the big head plush. Shame we never got Cubot. There's a Buzz Bomber, who, with, um, without his uh, stinger. There's a custom Motobug. I know GE made a new one, which I want to get at some point. But for now, we have uh, this custom, which I've used once again. There's Egg Robo, or Steve, as the, ro the other robots like to call him. 
here's E102 Gamma, and he looks like this because he's gonna be like something in a future video, along with Sonic Swift. And his brother, E101 Beta, and, and Gamma Stall's arm, you might have saw there. Next to plush is the Jazzwares Metal Sonic, mint condition with tag, not for sale. And the last plush, a custom Mecha Sonic Mark II. Um, yeah, as you can see, I, I painted little brown rust marks on them. They'll be used in a video shortly. I have an idea of how I'm going to use them. But, uh, here he is. And that, everyone, is my Sonic the Hedgehog plush collection. Now, uh, favorite plush in the set, I'm going with the Jazzwares Metal Sonic. The fact that I own a rare plush for once is uh, pretty cool. As for my least favorite plush, it's going to have to go with the original Tails over there, because due to his uh, broken leg. And just how much of a, like, a crappy plush um, I, I used to use. Like, yeah, Knuckles is bad with that smile, and there's the other Tails with that big nose and that I turned into a robot. But honestly, least favorite plush goes to the original tails I used to use. I just can't really, I just can't like that plush, guys. And with that, that's my Sonic plush collection. Um, I hope you guys like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.